Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Ivory, and I'm absolutely thrilled to share with you something I've been working on, my 2023 to 2024 realistic digital planner walkthrough. First, let's explore the side tab. At the top, we have the index page followed by the year calendar, and then each of the monthly calendars. Now let's dive into the layout of this planner. It's sleek, intuitive, and designed with user friendliness in mind. On the index page, you'll find the personal section. I've included 12 personal sections for you to utilize, whether it's for work, school, or anything else. Each personal section is clickable and will take you to the corresponding section divider page. And here's a handy feature. Once you're on the personal section divider page, simply click on the top horizontal bar to switch to a different divider page. Additionally, the index page allows you to access the note-taking paper. There are 12 different layouts available, which you can easily copy and paste anywhere within the planner. Let me give you a quick flip through of the paper templates. These different paper templates provide a range of options to suit your note-taking and organizing preferences. Whether you prefer lined, grid, dotted, or blank pages, you'll find the perfect template for your planning needs. Now, let's move on to the yearly calendar page. In the top right corner, you'll find icons that provide access to various year templates. Once you're on the yearly template page, switching between different templates is a breeze. Just click on the icons in the top right corner of the page. On the year at a glance page, you can click the next six months button to navigate to the following page. And here's a cool feature. On the year at a glance page, you can access the monthly calendar and daily page by clicking on the month title and dates. Now let's head back to the yearly calendar page. For each mini calendar representing a month, I've included seven monthly template pages for you to utilize. Clicking on the title takes you to the monthly calendar, the week number leads you to the weekly page, and clicking on a date brings you to the daily page. Speaking of monthly pages, the first page is the monthly vision board. Just like the yearly templates, you can easily switch between different month templates by clicking the icons. We have monthly plans, monthly goals, monthly reviews, monthly finance tracker, expense tracker, and habit tracker. There are two ways to access the weekly page. One is from the yearly calendar. Simply click the week number and it will take you to the weekly page. From there, clicking on a date will navigate you to the daily page. Here's a neat trick. On the daily page, you can go back to the weekly page by clicking the page title. Similarly, you can return to the monthly calendar on the weekly page by clicking the weekly title. And clicking on the monthly title brings you back to the yearly calendar. In addition to the freestyle layout, the planner offers two more weekly layouts. One is the box layout, which provides you with extra space and a structured visual schedule. I've allocated additional space on the right side of the page, which you can use for various purposes. The other layout is the horizontal layout. It's designed to provide a standard yet effective planning experience. With extra blank space on the right side, you'll have ample room to map out your week according to your preferences. Each day of the week is positioned horizontally, accompanied by clearly labeled dates and days of the week at the beginning of each section. On the monthly calendar page, you can also access the daily page by clicking on the dates. As a bonus, the planner comes with 32 fabric texture covers, available in both landscape and portrait styles. Lastly, let's take a closer look at the paper textures. The Realistic Planner offers three different options, craft paper, white paper, and white crumpled paper. You can choose the texture that best suits your style and preference. Thank you all for joining me on this digital planner walkthrough. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the features and layouts of this planner and that it will be a valuable tool for your planning needs. If you're interested in getting this planner for yourself, you can find it in my shop. The link is provided in the description below. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and I'll see you next time.